I think if he still has COVID, we shouldn't have a debate. New tonight, Joe Biden says, despite President Trump saying he is ready to debate next week here in Miami, if the president still tests positive for COVID-19, the event should not happen. The debate is one week from Thursday. Meantime, the president is apparently still governing while in quarantine at the White House. This afternoon, via tweet, he said he's abruptly ending all negotiations over a new federal stimulus package. He says Democrats' demands for state and local funding were the breaking point. The president says a bill will only be passed, quote, after I win. Also new tonight, another COVID-19 infection in the president's inner circle. Top White House aide and policy advisor Stephen Miller just tested positive. The president's doctor says he has zero symptoms and his vital signs are stable. But that was the last official update about 10 hours ago. As crews in hazmat suits disinfect parts of the White House, the coronavirus outbreak in the president's inner circle grows. The virus now infecting his top staffers and communications aides. At the Pentagon, military generals, including the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, are working from home. They're quarantined after the commandant of the Coast Guard contracted the virus. That's him at a White House event last week where most people were not wearing masks. And now I'm better and maybe I'm immune. I don't know. The president returned to the White House even though he's still believed to be contagious and on powerful medications, including the steroid dexamethasone. Doctors say a patient's energy level can dramatically crash when treatment ends. His doctors have not released results of chest x-rays, which would reveal lung damage or pneumonia. After returning to the White House in a highly choreographed made-for-TV spectacle, the president removed his mask, stood on the White House balcony, and told Americans the virus is not that big of a deal. Don't let it dominate you. Don't be afraid of it. You're going to beat it. That brought a sharp rebuke from the wife of Broadway star Nick Cordero, who died of COVID in July. Let it dominate your life? No one's letting it. Nick didn't let it. It wasn't a choice. Have some empathy to the people who are suffering and grieving. The president also sent out a tweet comparing COVID-19 to the flu, adding we have learned to live with it, just like we are learning to live with COVID. Twitter responded by flagging the tweet as false. Facebook went a step further and took it down. Well, tonight, the few staffers still working at the White House are wearing full protective equipment when going near the president or the first lady.